Hello and welcome to MG Tracy. So, okay, you're on vacation or you're away in a hotel, you've not used one before and your room that you've upgraded to has a fantastic coffee machine. Let me give you the very quick guide on how to use an espresso, but the core of it is the same for whichever coffee machine you have in your hotel room. Have a great vacation. This is probably what you've been faced with. So we've got the little cups, the big cups. Here we have a fairly recent Nespresso machine. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do, if you're in another country, you're gonna to need to make sure you've got some bottled water. Get your tank out. Uh, the main reason people have problems with coffee machines is they've not docked the tank. So make sure that you dock that tank well there. And let's just put some bottled water in there. If this has already got water in it from the previous gas, empty it, give it a rinse out and really don't use tap water. So you've got a whole host of different colored kind of pods here so you're not gonna know which one you like so just it's gonna be a bit of pop luck. So we're going for a purple and you see they load in here almost like a bullet. Put that in. So to turn the machine on you've got two buttons here. Push either of them to make them flashing and this is actually the machine heating up. We're going to start with a little small espresso coffee. I shall drop that in there like this. Now basically you push the button to start the coffee pouring. You push the small one for a small cup, big one for a big cup. If it's going to overflow, tap one of those to stop it. If it's not enough, hold the button to give you more. So we're going to hit that now. And you're going to see it's going to start to pour very quickly because it had already warmed up. Obviously it's an espresso, it's quite small. I'm going to uh, hold that button there just for a bit more. Because even though this is a tiny cup, that's a ridiculous amount of coffee in the bottom there. If you're going to be adding milk, of course, you're probably going to be faced with just having uh, little packs of milk or creamer. So that's all we can do with that. That's great, that one's finished, so that's our small one. And if you're going to do a bigger coffee, it's pretty much the same thing. So to empty and reload the machine, just pull that up, that previous cartridge goes. We'll put another pod in here, dock that in, and this time I'm going to hit the big V. And it's the same process with the different pod it's going to run much more water through. So this coffee obviously is going to be a bit weaker. If you're used to say a cappuccino then this is probably about right by the time you put your little milk pods in. It is a fantastic smell. I mean that is one of the great things with an espresso machine. It will turn itself off but as I said before if you need to stop that at any time hit one of those two buttons on the top. These are going to be much better than your just packets of coffee that you could use with your kettle. Hopefully this machine's going to turn itself off, there we go. And there we are, that's a nice coffee. Now you can see the different size there, that's my hand. This is very much a little espresso, a little shot, and this is a nice one if you can add some milk to it. We'll uh, undock the top there. Now where are those pods going? So if you pull this here, pull this one here, the pods are in there. Now I tend to leave it like that just so the maid spots it and refills your supply of pods in this particular hotel you've allowed for a day. So that was my very quick guide on how to use an espresso or how to use a coffee machine if you're in a hotel room or, uh, or having a vacation. Have a fantastic stay. Now you can send me a super thanks now to help fund more videos. You can click that link below and send me two pounds, two euros or two dollars. Much appreciated for the tip, that would be wonderful. Please like, share and subscribe and come back every day for more help here on MG Tracy. See you next time.